Start recording! Yo, what is up, YouTube? So I'm gonna make a quick little video on uh, the new Atom.tv um, plugin for OBS. So, you wanna go to Atom.tv. If you have OBS, Streamlabs, it works in both. This is a vertical plugin to make uh, TikToks, YouTube Shorts, or Instagram clips, or Reels. You download it, you go through the installation, it's super simple. You just click install. I'll show you right here. Bam. So this, this is my OBS. See this vertical right here? This is what it looks like. So you have your main streaming screen right here. And then you have your vertical screen right here. And you can stream on YouTube short, TikTok, or Instagram while streaming on Twitch, or you can stream on YouTube vertically and stream on Twitch horizontally, like with your main screen. It has its own settings if you click the little gear down here. General, 1080 by 1920. But this right here, backtrack always on, or backtrack runs while streaming or recording. So these are clips you can clip with Atom that are instantly vertical. You don't have to edit them. You don't have to do anything to them. If you want to put it through a, a video editor to put like um, uh, captions or whatever or like little extra things, you can. But this is straight posting material. You can just post it straight out of clipping this. And this right here, backtrack recording length. So if you go into settings in the normal one, output, replay buffer, you don't have to have this one on unless you want to unless you want to clip a uh, horizontal like full video clips but you can turn this off this replay buffer go to the gear for the vertical side and you could just use backtrack it's the it's the same thing as replay buffer so once you do that you can uh hit okay so so OBS will crash real fast, and then um, you go to the gear again, you click on backtrack, oh, always on, you turn that on, you can set it to 30 seconds, however many seconds you want it to backtrack, and clip a clip from what, you were, what you're playing or doing. I use 60 seconds because that's the main, the, the maximum amount of length to be able to post on TikTok or, well, I mean, not now, but like uh, YouTube Shorts specifically. You can post longer clips on TikTok now. And you could set a save backtrack hotkey. So I do control left. Um, you can change the the uh, recording path. So where, wherever you want it to save to, you can, here's the streamy right here. And then you can re also record in vertical. So you hit OK. And now you see this is lit up. It's always on. You don't need to use replay buffer unless you want to record your full screen. But I'll show you real quick. I've been making clips that are like crazy. Let's switch to my desktop. I'm, I have a I have a laptop gaming laptop that I stream with so I made it my streaming PC and this is my this is my desktop my gaming PC but I have these I have the, my laptop and my desktop linked over the internet and I share fi uh, files on each hard drive back and forth to my um, laptop and desktop so you see how this is green right here this is shared. And I can just, these are all on my laptop. It's pretty sweet. So I go to recordings. Look at all these vertical clips I've been clipping. They're all vertical. I don't, I don't have to edit them, nothing. They're just straight what I clipped in that moment. Let's go. I'm playing uh, Returnal here. Dude, this game is awesome. I'm not like, whoo, I played this, I don't know how many hours straight yesterday. But this game oh, is sick. Oh, I didn't want to do that. 
crap. Sounds like a helicopter. <laughs> but yeah, this this right here, dude, this saves so much time. Again, you can run it through a video editor and then like put some extra things into the clip, but these are straight postable. Like you can just post these. It, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. And also, it has its own vertical scenes and vertical sources. This will already be here, I think, automatically. Vertical scene. But all you do for the sources to add all your things right here, all your uh, sources that you have over here, like in gameplay, gameplay scene, you just click, click plus, and then you can add all of your sources that are on your other one to right here it's awesome and if you add another scene and you create like say brb uh scene you can right click on this you can link the scene and then you can link this scene the vertical scene to your regular scene boom so it switches it'll switch with your main scenes I would show you, but it would you wouldn't be able to see it because I'm recording on my um, laptop. So when you when you add your audio audio sources to the vertical, all your audio is just straight from this audio mixer. You don't have to have a separate audio for the vertical sources. I hope this helped. Also, this is oh man, this saves so much more time. Yeah, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe. Uh, if this helped, just let me know in the comments that it helped you. Uh, we also, my buddy and I have a Discord. If you guys want to join the Discord, that'd be awesome. You have a great day and peace out!